everyone. Welcome back again to another episode of Faith in Home Buying. Um, I'm loving equipping people of faith for the home buying process. And man, it's been a crazy year. Um, I have just like my head explodes by just so many different miracle stories. I can't even, you know, when someone asks me, Hey, how's, you know, real estate going, my head just has so much in it. It's even hard for me to articulate, <laughs> but hopefully today I get to do a little bit of articulation on at least one of the miracle stories. And, you know, I hope agents um, are out here listening, or if you know, an agent, uh, a realtor at that, that, uh, is in the industry, maybe they're newer and really want to, um, kind of focus their business uh, in a different way. And, and I say that uh, a different way. Um, and I say that meaning you have your normal, you know, your CRMs and kind of what you do as a realtor and, you know, all the blah, blah, blah. But there's another component that I've, um, I think I've, I've just, I've been blessed to, to be able to operate in. Um, when most people will go left, I go right. And, and it's not right because I want to go against the grain of what people are doing, but it truly is um, when, you know, the Holy Spirit, like, I need you to guide and direct my path. I'm the kind of person where I always want to try to do the right thing, you know, and so me trying to do that in my life, it just never, <laughs> it just never went well. I'm thinking I'm doing well, but I'm really just hurting myself in the process. But when I found Christ, and this is in my early um, 20s in 2001, um, and, you know, got saved radically. And then I was able to go into carpentry. My life just kind of opened up. I actually saw in motion how when you trust in the Lord with all of your heart and you lean out on your, on, on your own understanding, but in all your ways to acknowledge him, he will direct your path. That very scripture just continued to resonate in my mind. And from the beginning, even from carpentry, I would really try to train my ear. No, like no joke. Like I would say, okay, Holy Spirit, I know what I should do, but what do I need to do in order to be steps ahead of my uh, uh, steps ahead of my um, you know team lead at the time or my foreman at the time, you know? And I would pray and I would uh, fast and you know for the people that uh, were were over me in, in leadership, uh, even in carpentry. So it, it developed a, a lifestyle of really listening to the Holy Spirit and being able to direct my path. Um, I mean, how much better, you know, in, in the thought of how much better is it to go the direction in the way in which you were created to, uh, and it's easier to kind of get there and you're, you're, you're so much more fulfilled than bumping your head. Um, you know, faith is already hard in itself, but <laughs> going throughout it without any type of foundation or faith. And for a long time, I did that. And so I take that in and I say all that to say, I'm going to, I take that into um, my my, 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 I don't even call it a job, my, my career uh, and what I do. And um, I'm hoping, hoping that, you know, even in these next episodes, I could talk more on what that looks like, even as an agent uh, and going through and um, really relying on the Holy Spirit for business. You know, the things that you can do as far as even sending out flyers, sending out mails, door knocking and things of that nature, you know, that's direct marketing. Yes, there's, that's, there's a space for that. But there's also a space to, to say, okay, Holy Spirit, where do I need to go? Who do I need to meet? Where do I need to talk to? Because honestly, you know, one, one open door from God trumps you know, like so many other uh, um, things that you do in order to try to make the business work. And I kid you not, and I say that from experience because I've lived it. And today, you know, talking about, uh, you know, talking about miracles, uh, we're in miracle season. I, I, if you haven't seen it, you haven't felt it, you haven't believed it, even in the midst of pandemic and even this craziness that's going on, we are in a miracle season. And I say that because I'm in it, I'm walking in it, and, um, you know, my church, uh, Vive Church over in um, Palo Alto, um, lead pastors, our pastor, Adam Smallcomb and Kira Smallcomb. Um, one of the things that we've been talking about is just miracles seasons and, and really like the, the wisdom that comes with that and trust in God um, so that you can see miracles happen in your life. And we, we had just had a discussion and it's just so good um, uh, about wisdom. And it was, it came out of the, um, the Proverbs three, 
um, five through 10. And I just got to read this um, just to kind of set us up. So just bear with me for a second. Um, I'm going to read Proverbs 3, 5 to 10. And of course, yes, I'm reading out of the TPT version. You can read out of any version that you want. I just find that just the TPT version hits just differently with me and just resonates in my heart. Um, so trust in the Lord completely and do not rely on your own opinions. With all your heart, rely on him to guide you and he will lead you in every decision that you make. Become intimate with him in whatever you do and he will lead you wherever you go. Don't think for a moment that you know it all for wisdom comes when you adore him with undivided devotion and avoid everything that's wrong. Then you will find the healing refreshment your body and spirit long for. I love this in verse nine. Glorify God with all of your wealth, honoring him with your first fruits, with every increase that comes to you. Then every dimension of your life will overflow with blessings from an uncontainable source of inner joy. And how, how, how true that this whole verse is. And, you know, I, I live this walking it out loud. It, it's, it's, not, it's one thing to have the faith, but it's a totally another thing to walk it out. And, you know, I can say that in, in this last season, shoot, maybe even the last three, four years, um, I've been putting this wisdom, this scripture to work. And, you know, one of the things that my pastor had talked about, and, and one of the things I just want to highlight, this is going to be, you know, hopefully bless somebody, but, you know, what is, what does that mean? Um, not to just be a doer of the word, uh, not just to be a doer of the word, but not just a hearer, like they uh, talked about in James, right? And here are some practical steps. And I'm going to get into that, what that looks like, even in um, just an agent uh, a viewpoint, vantage point, and even for a buyer, okay? So the first step would be trust God extensively. As the scripture says, it's trusting the Lord with all your heart extensively. Whatever you do, whatever you're thinking, whatever you're going to do, even in the small things, it's trusting. And I know that's a hard word. That's a kind of a, you know, it's a big, big word. I tell people in my business, so trust me, but I want you to know what you're doing, but trusting God in all of those things. And I know that's hard for some people to kind of wrap their mind around, you know, because they don't see God, you know, it's not just a quote tangible uh, substance. However, um, I can say that through uh, practice, um, even in the little things, finances, you know, even the little things, um, you'll start to see uh, God meets you in those very areas. Um, so trust in God extensively with all your heart, okay? The things that freak you out, you know, you probably go through and, and, and go through and the things that freak you out probably the most, like for instance, with home ownership and going through the process, um, you'll find that once you make that step and you just keep stepping, um, in the end, um, it, you'd be surprised, uh, especially, especially if um, you're walking that faith walk. Number two would be trusting him exclusively and not leaning on your own understanding. And this is big because when someone tells you that it's miracle season, you're like, okay, well, that's good for them. It's not necessarily good for me, but yet God's been tugging on your heart for doing um, change or to help with your credit or to do the things to move you to the next level of home ownership versus renting. And you're like, yeah, well, you know, that's good for them. You know, I, I, my credit score is not good. I, I don't have enough money saved. Um, you know, it just doesn't happen. You know, what they, what they say in the, uh, you know, the media is that, you know, you have to make X amount of dollars in order to get a home. And I would say to that, um, show me, show me the, the news outlets and what they say, and I will show you, I will trump that and show you several other miracle stories that combat that completely. And so, when, when it says um, to trust exclusive and lean that on your own understanding. And it was so good because again, our own understanding goes from a lot of our perceptions and past experiences, right? Like the things that we probably saw happen to our parents, maybe they lost a home or maybe you've seen someone go through the process and still not get their home, you know, things of that nature, or you've lost one yourself, right? Um, it kind of puts a, a little bit of a blur on what you can actually see because we see past and kind of the present. But God in all of his infinite you know, wisdom sees past, present and future. So how awesome is that, that the things that we think in our own perception are completely different because God's perception is of everything. 
So why not have uh, the mindset and the mentality of like, you know what, Lord, obviously you see better than I do. You have a better, you know, we try to soar like eagles and see our situation and see the eyes that you do, but how much better is that you see it already? So if we just tap into the things that you see for our life, how much easier it would be to process and go through the information um, or, or go through the, the process. And of course my medium is home ownership, but this can apply to any aspect of your life, right? And so the third thing was trust God uh, expectantly, okay? In all your ways, acknowledge him. That basically having a faith posture. You know, God, I'm not gonna lean into my own understanding, but I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna be ready to, to, to make a move. I'm gonna be ready to adjust. I'm gonna be ready to pivot. Even though my mind might say um, X, Y, and Z, practically I've taken the steps, but however, God, I'm hearing you and I'm feeling the movement being pushed over to this direction and I'm gonna walk. But Lord, I trust the fact that because I'm going by your unction, if it's not the direction that I need to go, you will shut that door and you will redirect me and reroute me to where um, I need to be. And that's the beauty about faith, especially if God's already spoken it, if he's declared miracle seasons as in my church, it really has, and it came through a prophetic word. God literally set the word out. And because he set the word out, now those in the congregation actually are like, huh, I caught that. I'm going to catch that. He's already said it. So now I'm going to position myself so that I can receive that miracle because he wants to give miracles all the time. It's okay to um, you know, have a little bit of, you know, trust issues a little bit, especially if you tried it, it didn't work, or you, maybe you thought it didn't work, but you got to figure too, a lot of times God's setting things up. It may not be a right now, but it may be next year, or it may not be a right now, but it may be next week. It's just like, it's not a, a no, it may be a yes, but again, setting things in motion so that you can get to that process. And I have many of stories regarding that. So when we come back, I'm going to give you a story, a great miracle story, and I'm going to have some practical things that go along with it with what I just uh, mentioned. So I thank you so much for tuning in. Um, remember, you can catch me at TamikaEllsworth.com, number 408-561-7922. Stay tuned because when we come back, um, like I said, I'm going to talk about a story, but I'm also going to talk about how agents can position themselves to see more miracles in their business. Stay tuned, Faith in Home Buying, Tamika Ellsworth, equipping people of faith for the home buying process. All right, Faith in Home Buying, equipping people of faith for the home buying process. So talking about trust God, trust the process. That's really the, the title. I probably should say that a little bit more often, <laughs> but trust God, trust the process. Um, I had just spoke on uh, just Proverbs 3, 5 through 10. I mean, ugh, just, just, you got to get into that, that, that whole verse. I mean, we call it proverbs. I mean, it's action items for wisdom. It's just, just amazing. Anyways, story time. Okay. So I have a lot of my, uh, a lot of my viewers or I guess they have viewers and also listeners, uh, you know, they listen on the show and they reach out and I love it when you guys reach out um, and just trying to take next steps or, you know, maybe it's a situation that you, you think is dismal and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm praying that I can be the conduit to, to help. But um, uh, so she had reached out, um, it was a husband and wife and you have about three children and pregnant with their fourth. And she reached out and she heard the show and she said, you know, um, I don't think it's possible, uh, but you know, I, I believe in miracles. And I believe that, you know, we, we, we don't make a lot, you know, but I believe that we can have a home. God's been unctioning me to do it. And I just made the step and I reached out to you, Tamika. And I'm like, you know what? Absolutely. Because you did that, you know, and I believe that God directs your path. I believe that God continues to set up the people in place so that those things can happen. And I just continue to pray that I'm in the right mind space, head space and spiritual space that I can be that conduit, right? Um, so got pre-approved, yay! You know, a actually able to get pre-approved and I believe it was for a, a decent amount, an amount that they didn't even think that they would. It was a kind of beyond their budget. So they weren't trying to stress that high but we were looking for something under 600,000 that had like that needed four bedrooms plus, you know, because of their growing family. And they had never been homeowners before, but this was going to be the leap of faith that they needed. And so they're coming with full of, full of faith <laughs> and came to me. And, um, you know, so we, 
you know, kind of, you know, there were some homes going through, we were looking in um, the area they really wanted to be in was Fremont um, or kind of the surrounding, but it just was not working with um, the price point that we were looking at. So we had to pivot, okay? This is important. It may not be, especially the first house, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, the first house may not be the forever dream home in the area that I just absolutely want. It may not be. I've had people that have, it has happened to, and those are great, just miracle stories. However, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a different process that you have to go through in order to really get to the next step. So theirs was, okay, fine. This is not gonna be the forever home, but it's gonna be the home that we're gonna be in to grow our family. And this is where God wants us in this particular community. And so a, a home came up that I sent to them. And I just, there's, there's an unction that you feel at least, you know, as a, as an agent, like this house seems like it works really well. I don't, I don't know what it was. Well, I do know what it was. It was the Holy Spirit just saying this house, this house, send to this house, make sure they see this house. And so that being said, they went over the weekend to see the, the, the home. And immediately when they walked inside the, the, the home, they had heard worship music. And this, she's telling me this later on because I wasn't able to go with them. It was an open house situation. They were actually in the area. I had another showing at the, at the same time. Um, so when they walk in, they hear worship music playing uh, in the home. And that immediately set them to uh, you know, kind of think like, wow, I wonder who is in this home because it was owner occupied. And so after they, they ended up looking at the home, they tell me like, Tamika, we just have such a piece about this home. We want to put an offer in. Now, granted, this would be our first offer, first offer, first home. Um, it's not like they were in a rush, but they did have a timeline because she's pregnant and, you know, they wanted to move, but we weren't rushing, rushing. So put in a, um, an offer on this home. It was a multiple offer situation. Uh, they had countered. And wouldn't you believe uh, we were able to get into this house uh, for under $600,000 and big house um, over in the Brentwood uh, Oakley uh, area. You know, things can, can happen really quickly. Typically it doesn't. In a market where there is very, very, um, it's very competitive, which it is right now in seller's market, you usually will put in, I say an average, my client's probably an average of maybe three offers or so, uh, and then it hits like on the fourth, but this one hit on the very first one, and it was everything that they needed, and we just recently closed, but I, I look at this situation, and you know, throughout the whole process, you know, we prayed and throughout the whole process, they really relied and trusted on the fact that God was going to do everything that God promised them that they would. And he did. And I, I look at their story of trusting uh, in, in God and trusting the fact that um, I took a step uh, in this process. Obviously, you know, we had some like little obstacles in between. So even in those obstacles in between, still relying on trusting the Lord, God, you open up this door, we're going to walk through it. And we're going to believe that you're going to meet us at every step. You're going to, you're going to smooth every path and everything that we need to do uh, will be accomplished. You know, of course, the things kind of, you know, get thrown into the mix dealing with the, you know, the lender or dealing with uh, paperwork or, you know, home employment, but all the while still knowing as you're walking through it, God said, yes. Because God said, yes, I know that things are going to come up, but that's not, I'm not going to lose my focus and understanding that this is the direction that I need to go. And I'm not going to stop or get scared of the process because it's not turning out the way that I think that it should. Um, Cause I got to let you know, like sometimes it's smooth majority of the time it's not, you're going to have opposition pushback on things. However, you stay the course and you stay focused like a flint um, to what God has called and directed you to do. That being said, so that was that was one you know one uh, uh, story, um, amazing story. Uh, at that, they're completely blessed. This home is just 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 uh, it's just it's it's amazing. Hopefully, at some point, I'll have them on so they can talk about it. Um, yeah, and and just bless your hearts. But now, just in speaking to that, like as an agent, so. If you are an agent or if you know someone that's, that is coming into this, this is some good information and insight for them, at least to how I've walked and how I've been able to see countless uh, miracles happen in my career. Um, one is it's just it's posture and positioning yourself uh, uh, for the, 
the, the blessing for God to, to operate. You know, it's one thing when you have faith and faith come, come and, and, and mesh together, where two or more are gathered, here I am in your midst, right? So even in the business situation, person coming in with faith, coming together, I've seen this countless times, the, it, the, the most amazing things happen. Now, granted, it happens on my own, even if a person's not of faith, that's okay. I believe in my faith. And I believe that it's not necessarily, it's it's not me, but God's going to come through, not just because of this person or my, my or, or because of me, but I know what God can do. And when I pray and I ask and I seek and I say, God, give me the revelation on writing in the offer. What do I need to say? Who do I need to speak to? How do I need to present it? Those things have worked for my business exponentially exponentially like i cannot say how many times that being in a in a, in a pickle and a, a situation where there's probably going to be 15 offers what do i need to do lord and, and in doing that and saying the right thing speaking doing it, it's it's just it's just been amazing how i've been able to navigate that um some would call it luck uh, but i sure in the heck don't it definitely is that x factor but in positioning yourself what does that look like it is like, it's, 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 it's a weight unlike any other, because you have people contacting you and I'm speaking to agents, you know, you have people contacting you, believing that you are going to be the conduit to their miracle. How heavy is that? And so in, in that process, and especially walking in the realm of faith, um, it's positioning your mind, heart, spirit, body, soul, everything saying, God, I want to make sure that I am available uh, for you to speak through me. I want to make sure you're available for um, me to pivot, for me to hear the voice of God. So how important it is to know the voice of God, how important it is to um, spend the quiet time, the intimate time to actually understand what God is saying um, in situations. And it does have a tinge of uh, a prophetic uh, revelation to it, prophetic prophecy, uh, um, words of knowledge, words of wisdom. It's tapping into the spiritual gifts so that I can better accomplish my goal. And who says that the spiritual gifts are just supposed to be within the four walls of a church. No, it's the edification of the body of Christ. And it's also to hopefully cause non-believers to actually believe. And I'm hoping that it causes those that are believers to have a faith that continues to elevate and continues to increase. Um, you know, as agents, you know, especially walking in the realm of faith, you know, we are change agents. Um, we, it, it's far more than a career. You know, it is, looking at the kingdom of God uh, in, a, in, in a, a bigger capacity than just me, myself, and I, right? And us four with, with my family. It's looking at it from the eyes of kingdom. It's looking for the eyes of saying, God, I want to plant your people and I want to plant them inside areas and communities that you want them. Because most, because first and foremost, we're salt of the earth. So no matter where we go, we should be bringing life. No matter where we go, we should be bringing um, uh, love. And no matter where we go, we should, we should be bringing community to the people that are around us. So that's why it's so important to, to, to stay in that mindset that you have your practical, yes, but you also have the other part of it that says, God, I want to see it more than just what the natural eye sees. I want to see it from your perspective. And I want to be ready to hear your voice. And even though it might not make sense in my mind, I'm not going to trust in my own understanding, but I'm going to go for it. And um, uh, yeah, it just, um, I, I'm going to speak more about that. And in in, in, I just feel pressed to speak about that more in the times to come. I'm coming to an end of my, uh, of my um, episode, but um, stay tuned because I, I really feel, uh, really feel that this message um, will apply to many agents coming inside the, um, in the industry. And if you are an agent or you know one, have them contact me. Um, you know, you can reach me at TamekaEllsworth.com. Remember, I'm on TikTok too, real estate underscore uh, T, Instagram, my first and my last name, Tamika Ellsworth, um, or you can call uh, 408-561-7922. Um, but until then, um, resonate with three Proverbs 3, 5 through 10. Um, and I hope, I hope, and I pray that this is your miracle season as well. You catch it and don't be scared. Don't be scared you might be surprised what comes in the end of your obedience and just stepping in, get a pre-approval, talk to someone. Tamika Ellsworth, Faith and Home Buying, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm equipping people of faith for the home buying process.